If you are cold, tea will warm you. If you are too heated, it will cool you. If you are depressed, it will cheer you. If you are excited, it will calm you. They say that you can't buy happiness, but you can buy a cup of tea. And that's almost the same thing, isn't it? The world is full of tea lovers who will do anything and everything provided you bring them a cup of tea. And tea love is the best love in this world. Be it the hot cup of morning tea or steaming sweet tea over snacks in the afternoon, nothing can beat the happiness and joy of sipping your tea in a slow fashion with loud sipping sounds. In India, chai is more than just a cup of tea to start the day. The thick, sweet drink is an integral part of the rhythm of life. Everything from neighborly gossip to intense political discussions happens over a cup of tea. A kulhar chai is an out-of-the-world experience. You've got to hold it between both your hands and take a long sip. While you taste the tea, you are overwhelmed by the smell of earthen pot over caffeine. The light smell of cardamom, the rough texture of kulhar, the dark bright color of the tea and the sporadic taste of ginger. All of that makes an amazing tea sipping experience that china or ceramic cups can't even match to. A kulhar is also called a shikora in some places. It is a traditional terracotta cup indigenous to North India and parts of Pakistan. Kulhars don't have handles, are unpainted and unglazed. Unlike ceramic cups, kulhars are disposable and not to be reused. Since they are made by cooking in a fire, they are extremely sterile. One of the oldest drinks in history, chai is also India's most popular drink. Given how ubiquitous a cup of chai is across India and how chai drinking transcends all boundaries, it comes as a surprise that not many Indians know about the fascinating history of tea in India. One story goes that chai was developed by accident when a Buddhist monk on his way to China observed the local ritual of chewing on a few wild leaves and tried it himself. On feeling rejuvenated, he decided to bring it back to India with him. Interestingly, tea is believed to have been first discovered by mistake 5,000 years ago, when the emperor of China found tea leaves in his pot of boiling water. Known for his scientific curiosity, he proceeded to taste the drink and loved it. Before long, tea became a staple of Chinese culture. Another legend has it that it was a king in ancient India, most likely Harshwardhan, who developed chai to remain alert during long court hours. Some historians also believe that Emperor Ashok too had made it a part of his various peace treaties and court culture, a habit that eventually percolated down to common people. There is a third legend that says Sanjeevni Bhuti and its concoction, which brought the Komodo's Lakshman alive in the epic Ramayan, is the first chai. As for the question when and where was milk added to tea, tea historians believe that the first situation of chai with milk was developed by travelers and traders, most likely from Gujarat, Maharashtra and Bengal, people who had easy access to good quality milk. With growing cross-country trade, sweet milky chai soon became the go-to drink, at least for the office bearers and workers, to sustain a rather long day. Soon masala chai, chai flavoured by aromatic spices, was born and was usually served with a sweet or savoury toast, a hybrid of Indian and British tradition. It is also worth noting that tea wasn't an overnight success in India. Each region and community in India took its own time to adopt and adapt tea to its own tastes. Today, there are billion possible ways in which this combination can be effected in India. The most popular ones being Mumbai's cutting chai, the rich Irani chai of Hyderabad, the fragrant Darjeeling chai, the mellow Assam chai, the strong masala chai of Gujarat and the delicate pink Kashmiri chai. The fact that chai is now just not a beverage but woven into the fabric of this nation is hard to dispute. Today, no matter where you are in India, you are probably not very far from a chai stall, little roadside shacks that go by different names in different parts of the country. 
tea sold at these humble outlets is often the cheapest, the most delicious and the ideal refreshment in every kind of weather. And it is impossible to deny that Chai Chai Garam has woken up several billion more Indians on Indian railways than coffee, less coffee ever could. So the next time you reach sleepily for your morning cup or share a version of the brew with your colleague or even stock up on the biscuits you love dunking in your favorite beverage, remember it isn't just chai you are consuming, it is history, diversity and popular culture all amalgamated into one cup.